Davidson. And I'm Kristen Oaks White. Thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. Chances are you love beef. I say that because in 2016, the average American ate 55 and a half pounds of beef that year. That's according to the uh, Department of Agriculture. Galen Iverstein raises cattle in Kentwood, Louisiana, and sells the beef directly to you at his butcher shop in Baton Rouge. He also raises poultry and hogs, and as well as Carl Wigger shows us, that's keeping Iverstein very busy. In Kentwood, Galen Iverstein is enjoying a beautiful morning on the farm. He's here to check on his grass-fed beef cattle, his pasture-raised poultry, and his heritage breed Berkshire hogs. It's not unusual that he's raising these different animals, but the philosophy behind this farm is quite unique. Yeah, we're, we're producing animals for meat, but our main goal here is building healthy topsoils on our farm. Those topsoils matter because of the forage they produce. It's the grass that this cattle depends on to live. The better forage this cattle gets means better tasting beef for the consumer. That's the challenge for us is keeping uh, really high quality forage in front of our cattle year round. This crop of hemp is helping with this summer grazing, but it's also preparing his soil for the fall forage. We're looking for crops that are going to um, give back to the soil in this time of the year so we can come back and plant our winter forages behind it without using any fertilizers to get them started. From day one, Galen's way of marketing his beef, pork, and poultry has been much different from the average farmer. Everything I've done has gone straight to the consumer, and honestly, if I didn't have that connection, I don't know if I would want to farm. I want to see that product. I'm very proud of what we raise. I want to have control of how it gets to the market and how it's communicated to customers very honestly and get their feedback. At first, that happened here at the Red Stick Farmer's Market in downtown Baton Rouge. But last fall, he took another step closer to the consumer when Iverstein Farms Butcher Shop opened here in the heart of Baton Rouge. We're a whole animal butcher shop. You know, we bring in whole sides from the farm, um, so we're dealing with the whole thing so it's going to generate a lot of variety of cuts. This variety of cuts allows Galen and his team to really educate the consumers about their products. It's really important to us to communicate to the customer where things come from, not only the farm wise, but where it comes from on the animal so they can kind of get a sense of how to cook it. Another huge part of them using the entire animal in the shop here are their smoked and cured meats like bacon and sausage. The demand for those products have come up, so it's allowing us to bring in more animals to keep up with the production of just those products. The demand is also really high for these Iverstein Farms pork chops. People come to us with this uh, thing in their mind that a pork chop's gonna be dry and flavorless. So what we're doing is we're raising pigs to have some fat on them because that's where the flavor is. In the last year, Galen has seen growth on the farm as well as right here in the shop. But Galen says that that will never affect the quality of products that you'll find through these doors. Uh, we don't want to let the growth dictate to us what the integrity of the product. It always comes down to those core principles of what we do of building healthy topsoils and getting a healthy product in the uh, hands of the consumer. One element of Iverstein Family Farms that has been present from the very first year is their pasture-raised holiday turkeys. Now, Galen told me a funny story about that first flock. That year, he raised around 40 turkeys, and he planned to process them all in one day, all by himself. He began at 7 a.m. that day and didn't finish until the next day, around 5 a.m. He swore that he would never raise another turkey. However, because of the demand from his customers, he went back on his word and raised around 200 the next year. Needless to say, his turkeys are a hit year after year, and if you would like to get an Iverstein Farms holiday turkey on your table this fall, the shop will begin taking those orders in October 1st. For more information on how to order yours and learn more about the farm or the shop, head over to our website at twilighttv.org. And you guys, I'm a big fan of Galen's food. I eat his steaks and his pork chops all the time, and I'm a big fan of his farm up in Kentwood. It's beautiful country, but my goodness, I love going there for lunch. Every, almost every week I can find myself on one day of the week there for lunch, and the sandwiches are just great. Chili's not half bad at all Chili's either. good too. And I don't know if you remember Avery, his mm -hmm. first appearance on our show, which was probably about four years ago for the Reporting for Duty with Taylor Fry. Mm -hmm. He's come a long way since then. Yes, he's, he's doubled his operation since I went and did a story there last mm -hmm. spring. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the growth is, is, is crazy, and it's fun to watch from 
I mean, as I've kind of gotten to watch over the last year, you know, he's coming mm -hmm. up on one year at the shop, yeah. you know, and he's been doing this for six, seven years now. And it's been neat to watch the last year how he's grown. It's really cool. It's always neat to watch that growth. Thank you very much, Carl Wiggers.